concrete, deep fissure, rotten timber. I'd have to see someone who knows about this sort of stuff to understand what to do there. Oops, would I oakum it? Would I leave it? Would I rake out? Make a deeper void to put oakum in? Here's a confused carpenter working on an old building. So um, I'm gonna, um, actually I might even just, hang on, here you go, grab the camera, Scott, and just, <coughs> um, well, what we what we we're looking at, we've we've got a. This is one of the original beams, actually. This one, and this is later um, brick infill. But um, what people have done over the years, where the the, the brick infill uh, actually comes up to the the timber, uh, it's here, all alongside it. This is all lime, so you've not got a problem with deterioration of the timber. Um, where you've got more deterioration is here, where some idiot has replaced it with cement. And so this little bit here actually isn't too bad, but on the side here we've got loads of, of rotting of the timber because of the cement. Uh, and down the bottom, <coughs> he's just pulled that bit off. And of course, we've got all sorts of rot here. So. What are we going to do? What, what's the solution? Uh, short term, there's no point in doing great big repairs and spending a lot of money on this at the moment because we're trying to develop a, a strategy for the, um, the whole building. So right now, what I'm going to do is come up with a very simple, easy solution that Nigel can work with in the short term. All we're going to do is use oakum. We'll just twist a bit of oakum into the gaps here, just rake them out, hammer the oakum into the gap, <coughs> and similarly on this side, just open it up so we can get a good seal, a nice watertight seal. And then down the bottom, we've got a lot of rot, but you know what? It's okay. The timber is actually quite solid, it's got rot down below. And so what? What we'll do is just rake out all the loose crud like this. And <coughs> I'm just going to get Nigel to put in some soft lime. So we'll use a, just a hot lime mix and we'll just bog it up with hot lime. Hot lime's not going to cause any damage. It will protect it. It will give support to the bottom of the timber because right now the timber can move. So if we stick some lime in here and just bog it up, it just arrests everything, it holds it in time and it means it's not going to, to cause any more trouble. Uh, it certainly won't rot anymore because we've got lime that will allow moisture to escape. Um, and then as we develop the plan for the building, then obviously this can come out, the bottom of the timber can be repaired properly. Um, do we want to reinstate a sill beam? We don't know. But that's further down the track. What we're doing now is just trying to keep this place going and make sure there's no further deterioration. Um, in the middle here, I wouldn't actually do anything because somebody's stuck cement in. If we take that out, it's fine. It's just a, a shake in the timber. It's not going to let water in. Mm. There's no gap there, so what's the point? And it is solid back it's to there, solid. isn't it? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> we've got a problem here. Um, this is the joint where there was a a rail coming across, another rail. Um, there's a mortise in here, mortise there. You can see the original pegs. What do you do here? Well, you know, really, I think you carry on with what somebody's probably already done. There's a bit of lime in there. Um, I would probably just put, you could fill it with oakum, uh, or you could just fill it with lime. At the moment it's free draining. Any water coming down here will hit that and you can see the, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but that is the back of the, the mortise and it's good solid timber at the back of the mortise. So any rain coming in here hits this and runs out and runs away. So it is not going to deteriorate. 
so long as nobody traps anything into it. So if you go and fill it with um, putty or silicon or tar or anything else, it will rot. But if you just let it drain freely, it's not going to go um, any further in terms of its, its condition. It, it will just stay as it is. You could fill it with lime and it wouldn't harm it if you filled it with lime. Mm. But actually there's probably not a lot of point. All we want to do is make sure that you're not getting any water inside the building. Um, and to be fair, this is all, you take all this out, there's actually not, there's no open gaps in here. It's fine, it's been, that cement was almost cosmetic. It yeah. probably wasn't doing a lot. Um, and I, you know, if you pour water on here, I don't think it'll go through. But if you want to give yourself um, certainty, then whack a load of oakum in down the edge and then cover it up with some lime putty just to yeah. stop the birds from pecking it out because yeah. the birds love oakum. I think I should do that early spring when it's above seven degrees. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, you put the oakum in now and yeah. then early spring, once weather is warmer, then the, the putty will go off, it'll, it'll carbonate. Excellent, yeah, that's you. it. Thank you. You can edit that.